Hey, I'm Tyler. And I'm Bobby. And we are in Reykjavik Ice Roasters Land. in Iceland. Yeah, Reykjavik Roasters in Iceland. <laughs> Enjoying an incredible mocha, cortado. And we are on a quest to find out what Icelanders eat. So we are going to be going to get hot dogs. We're going to go, we've been invited to come and eat in the home of an Iceland family. And we are going to be eating a fine dining meal, but we're going to start off with going to a bakery that we're going to go to with our friend Jim. He says it's the best bakery in the world. It's a lot to live up to. Yeah. So our first stop for breakfast is Browton Co. Something in there says vanilla and nougat, and it looks amazing. Layers of pastry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. we're in a YouTube video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I look like shit today. Yeah, Laura, you look beautiful. <laughs> What did I just eat here? That is amazing. This is cucumber salad. So it's yeah. it's rhubarb jam. Yeah. It tastes the rhubarb. Into amazing. a pie mixture. Oh. So it's basically rhubarb pie. Nice. I guess. Yeah. A simple version of explaining it. And really good. Did you bake this? No, I okay. wish. Yeah. The bakers did it. Okay. The bakers need some credit because they work. I bet. Yeah, they They're probably in here at 3 a.m. or something. Yeah, he was yeah. here at like 4 this morning, I think. Oh, my lady. Yeah. Jin, so I will have three. Uh -huh. Three of those. Three of those. Oh, your nails are fabulous. Thank you. Wow. Keep did them. Oh, my God. Yeah. Fabulous. Good work. This is yours? Yes. Yeah. And this is yours. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye. A lot of our footage in the bakery just turned into steam because we went from really cold outside to really hot inside. But I have to say, as soon as you walk in, that waft of sourdough just hits you in the most wonderful way. I got the, the nougat. What did I see through the window? Vanilla custard. Nougat, nougat something. Oh my gosh, it's it amazing. It looks like it's part croissant or part pop over. It's part amazing. Part pop in my mouth. Part flaky and there's a cream and there's a powdered sugar. Mm. Try this mm. one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right in the middle. Bite. Oh my land. That is amazing. Am I right? Right. You are so right. <laughs> oh, rah, 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 rah. You have to try Tyler, it. you gotta try this. You got it. Okay. I am a mm. cinnamon roll fiend, and this like takes it to a whole new level. Mm. Mm. Get this flat heaven if you go to the bakery. It's like a cinnamon roll pizza. Yeah. Wow. What was it called? Yeah. Flat cinnamon roll heaven. Cut's Just... favorite. Oh! Nice. <laughs> Jim also bought three of those because he knew they were so, so good. Oh, tonight? Yeah, others, I, did, I didn't overplay it. He did not overplay this is the best bakery in the world. Because? Just saying. Because it kind of is. Because it kind of is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is really worth coming to Iceland for. Just come here, go to the bakery. Tyler and I were surprised to discover that the most popular dish in Iceland is the Icelandic hot dog, or pilsa. You can buy them everywhere in Iceland, including small villages, every gas station, and even at the airport. They are unique in that they are mostly made from lamb, but most hot dog stands like this one also have a vegan option. We order one of each. Vegan hot dog with, are those onion crumbles? Yeah, yeah. Nice. And Crunions. <laughs> and uh, mustard. Like a honey mustard? 
What's the brown mustard? It's, uh, it's Icelandic hot dog mustard. Ah. I'm not sure what else to call it. That's, that's just what it's called. It's oh, well, called there you go. <laughs> no, it's Pilsu Sinip. Pilsu is, is hot dog and Sinip uh, is mustard. Ah. It's, it's hot dog mustard. Okay, <laughs> and then what's the yellow? It's um, mostly mayonnaise. I believe it's like called in English like uh, remoulade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remoulade. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's a French thing. Okay. <laughs> Tyler will like that. Mm. There are flavors in here that are not American, which is really fun. Oh, yeah. And the Funyuns, that is a great addition to a hot dog. Just a little crunch to it. Good texture. Good texture. Yeah, the remoulade and the Icelandic mustard, not spicy. It's not as sweet as anything. A little sweet, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I feel like I could eat that mustard just straight out of the, <laughs> straight out of the jar. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Is it a Toperky dog? Oh, oh, what now? <laughs> Tofurkey. Do you not have Tofurkey here? I'm not sure what that okay. is. It's a tofu turkey? Exactly. <laughs> to tofu turkey. It's a brand. <laughs> Tofurkey. Yum. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Big and a little bit messy. <laughs> that sounds American. <laughs> I have an even bigger slash messier one, which is like a foot long, but like I the super needed hot to get dog. like a bigger pot for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's like basically two hot dogs with one too big. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know that one. That one would be fun. I might have to come back and try that one. Mm. Is it your business? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. You're fabulous. Thank yeah, you. you. <laughs> Enjoy the country. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. We're stepping in out of the blustery winter weather to go eat lunch at Snaps Restaurant, which is located right in the heart of Reykjavik. I feel like I keep saying right in the heart of Reykjavik because everything's sort of right yeah. in the heart of Reykjavik. Yeah. Snaps is a Parisian posh restaurant with a menu of mainly French-inspired dishes. And for Tyler and I, it is quite expensive. However, nearly all meals eaten out in Iceland are. And you'd have to work very hard to find a poor quality meal in Iceland. So it's pretty much a guarantee wherever you do decide to eat, it will be well worth the money. Tyler and I are fortunate to be invited to lunch with a knitting retreat group. The restaurant and the group are lively, welcoming, and warm. You dress for being outside in, in all of your layers, and then as soon as you come inside, every room is so, so warm. You immediately need to strip down, take off your scarves and gloves and outer layer and then sweater layer. And then if you're like Andrea, then you'll bring your own personal fan, too. I'm 400 degrees hot! <laughs> oh, yes you are! <laughs> the bread service here is sort of dangerous because it's so good. It's dense, it's almost like a soda bread. You can get the wafts of the yeast and then this really rich butter, too. I, I could make a whole meal of it. Spicy mint chutney with the flank steak. It's cool and hot at the same time. The pepper from the steak, wow, it's quite delicate to the steak. Luna Tartar in honor of Neptune, our kitty cat. Because I miss her. <laughs> Very good. Smoky. Smoky raw tuna with a, some sort of sauce. 
<laughs> you want to try it? No, thank you. I have avocado, sesame, and soy. Mm, Andrea knows. No, I only read the menu. <laughs> no, don't tell her that. Oh. She just knows. Oh. Oh. Magic <laughs> yes. A gourmand. <laughs> Robbie and I each have ordered a catch of the day, which is Icelandic cod. It looks like we have a little uh, baked pear and a caper tapenade on top. The, the cod has been lightly fried, it looks like. Just perfectly tender. <laughs> so we're trying to decide whether this puree is parsnip or celeriac. Either way, it's it's delicious, light and fluffy, a little herby flavor, and I have a bite here of oh my god, that's hair, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Hair dipped in the puree. You need to film my my. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at this mm. dried orange. There's beautiful foods everywhere I look. <laughs> I just had a bite of Elaine's or candied orange. And I have to share this because it's it's like it is like candy. It's so thin and crispy and sweet. And intensely orangey. Intensely orangey. This could be dessert on its own. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Garnish. That was on her duck salad. That her visual appearance, I, I give I give the gold star to the duck salad. <laughs> Ice cream, though, that ice cream is crazy. It's like custard. Yeah. Yeah. We have a beautiful waiter who could have cracked my top for me, but I'm cracking my own. He has the skills, for God's sake. I do. Well, how does that taste? Comments? Wow. First thoughts? Insanely creamy. That thin, delicious layer of crunch. Just mmm. Just mmm. Mm. Was the party in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so bad out of context. <laughs> I was going to stay out of this, <laughs> but that was bad. <laughs> Who knew knitters? <laughs> Conversations have deteriorated towards the end of our meal here as we've been sipping on some high octane coffee, really strong, beautiful roasted coffee here to finish off our meal. It's been quite extraordinary. You can see everyone is enjoying themselves here at Snacks. just branched out and headed out to dinner and are trying a pizza joint in Reykjavik. We are actually the only guests in the restaurant Reykjavik right now, but the server is so friendly and it smells incredible in here. We've just ordered a vegan pizza. It just sounded so fun and unique with vegan cheese on it. We're gonna give that a try. They still have Christmas beer on tap into January, so, and it's happy hour, so I had to try that. Really looks like a giant class. Wow, it's a little bit sour. We don't have many sour beers in the US. It's really refreshing too. And I'm glad I ordered it, ordered something different. Sometimes it's fun while you're traveling to just go for it and try a, a pizza place. 
like something that you might eat in your hometown and see what's different about eating pizza in Iceland or drinking a Christmas beer in Iceland. Okay, so the, another thing, this is a vegan pizza, vegan cheese, and it has uh, pineapple on it. I would not normally get that, so that's why I got it. The cheese is very thick. It's almost like a cheese sauce. I haven't really cooked a lot with vegan cheese, but when it melted on here, it's turned into more of like a thick sauce. It's yummy. We, because we don't eat vegetarian all the time at home, um, it's really fun for us to see how different restaurants cook with vegetarian or vegan foods because in my opinion it actually takes a lot of skill to figure out how to replace meat and it's exciting to see what's different oh yeah salad come on over yeah oh no that's yeah, perfect timing wonderful <laughs> yep thank you i just took a bite bobby's so right it's like a cheese sauce Mmm, I'll do up our salad here. Oh, that came out really quick. Balsamic, a little olive oil. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just a garden on our plates. Eat the stragglers. Okay. Our first pizza in Iceland, done and done. Really unique cheese that was sort of stick to the roof of my mouth, creamy. We're pretty sure not everyone would like this cheese, but we love it. We love fake cheese, we love real cheese, and always makes us feel good to not have any animal products. He's underestimating my love for this cheese on here. It's fabulous, I really, really love it. That was a good clarifier. Good, thanks honey. And this is by far the best price happy hour drink I've seen in Reykjavik so far. 650 krona for a large beer. Um, often they're 1500 krona. We just finished pizza and discovered that our pizza baker and waitress is a knitter. Okay. Like crochet? Yeah, yeah, like uh, only one uh, needle. Oh, one needle? One crochet. with the, yeah. I've never yes. crocheted. Yes, oh, okay. yes, yes, yeah. yes. And how old were you when your grandma taught you how to? What? Why? How what? old were you? When, when I was, like, when yeah, learned? when I started, like, maybe, I don't know, six, seven. Oh, yes. that's nice. Um, maybe like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now my daughter started. Oh, oh nice. Nice. <laughs> I've been knitting something for about five or six years, and it's this big. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. In five years. Yeah. It's really sad. Maybe you, you, and, yeah, you have gray. Oh, so maybe, maybe I will do it like okay. this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Is that one that you knitted? You did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I, I did cannot it. believe you can do that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is amazing. You are amazing. I can't even believe like it. Yes. Wow. What's your name? Tina. 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 I'm Martina. 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 Yes, okay. yes, yes. So Tina is. Martina. Oh I like God. when I can do this for you know somebody. Oh, not so sweet. Well, I'm paying you for it. So no. You let me know. Yes. yes. No, no, no. It's it will be good. What? Yes. You don't even know me. No. That is so thoughtful <laughs> and sweet. It will be nice, really. Wow, I, I like, will I treasure it. No, I appreciate when somebody appreciates it. Okay, okay. Like well I do, like, the best, you know. Okay. Okay, well. so deal. Okay, <laughs> so you. see you again. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> We are on the harbor here, 
with some dramatic weather behind us, the golden glow of the afternoon light, about to eat some hearty soup and bread at this local bakery and coffee house. Brick. Brick. Is it Very salady good. also? Salady, like um, in the world of potato salad, but but very cheesy and more liquidy. And then we got a curry coconut soup. Is that right? Oh, comfort food, and of course bread. I've learned that Icelanders love their bread and every bread I've had so far is very good. I'm going right for the soft middle. That's my favorite part. Mm. Very chewy. Nothing overpowers anything else as far as flavors they might put in it. This will taste balanced. Wait, what's this? The Cubano. Ooh, this bread looks amazing. Toasted, it's warm. It doesn't look as pretty when I open it, but I have a feeling it's gonna taste really good. It's a honey mustard, cheese, some sort of pulled pork, cucumbers. Mm. The bread is so good. Mm. Mm. Very warm. And the bread's crispy on the outside and super soft underneath. Okay. Barbecue y, kind of. It's delicious. We're having a moment of the Icelandic sun grace our meal right now, too, which makes everything seem even more magical. Eating it in Iceland in the winter, it just seems like soup is always appropriate. Soup and steaming warm bread, freshly baked, baked bread. Freshly baked bread. We don't have anything like that. No. It's good for my soul. Yes. Yeah. We're in a taxi right now, heading on our way to a friend of a friend's, Jim's friend, home, to go eat lunch with them. They're preparing a meal for us, so we're excited to see what they have in store for us and to get a little taste of what it's like to eat in an Icelander's home. Thank you. <laughs> Just driven about 20 minutes outside of the heart of Reykjavik and arrived at our soon-to-be friend's home. I died in Peru at 4,000 meters above sea level in a community called Chinchero. So it's actually yarn for weaving, but you know you can try to net with it if you want. But anyway, so I, we dyed this. What did you dye it with? Um, natural plants. Yeah. Here we have a reduction of a red or like a my version of red wine sauce with uh, garlic and rosemary and other or herbs. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of maple syrup from Canada and so on. And it's like a condiment. It's not like a, a typical gravy, mm -hmm. but it's more more of a, 
um, spice to, to go, go along with the uh, meat. Nice. Yeah, cooking. Nice. You know, spice it, forget it in the oven, two and a half, three hours. Yeah. It feels like a holiday meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. But actually, um, uh, red cabbage or red cow, as we say it, mm -hmm. that I made for Christmas. We keep it in a jar. Mm -hmm. And it keeps very well. Nice. Yeah. Ah. Red cabbage, red onions, green apples, a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar, and sweet and sour, ah, yeah. tangy. Nice. It goes very well together with the fattiness of the lamb. Then also we're going to serve, uh, we have a berry plant in, the, in our garden and make preserves. Jam. Mm. Or which kind of berry it is? It's, um, it's called the Risper in Icelandic. Johannes berries. Yeah, we'll have to Google it. Yeah, yeah. Red currant. Uh -huh. Red currant, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jam, oh. Yeah. Google. Yeah. San Jose, California, <laughs> helping us out. This is called the train. It means lava. And then we have chocolate raisins. Yes. <laughs> yes. Say the name of this again. Uh, rain. Yeah, it's like in the front of your mouth. Yeah. Rain. Rain. I love your dress. It's so fabulous. I wish I had one. Celeriac. Celeriac, yeah. Yeah. We just we don't eat much in the States. I mean it's in it's in grocery stores, but mm. It's not a popular vegetable. But it's good. Yes. Yeah. Is it a popular vegetable in Iceland? Yeah. yeah. Chefs use it uh, into uh, purees, soups. I think of it as, as a cold weather vegetable, yeah. so it probably, that's one of the reasons it does well in Iceland, yeah. I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. Okay, good. We are all about stews, uh, comfort food. Yes. Warm. Yeah. Warming. Yes. Icelandic uh, small potatoes. But I cook them uh, for like yeah. 15 minutes yeah. and I soak it uh, and um, we have, um, what do you call it, soda, the baking, baking soda. Yeah. Like one generous uh, tablespoon of salt and, and uh, the soda. What it does with the potato, it's so rich in um, vitamin C, it lowers the uh, acid in the potato. It gives the uh, uh, potato like a woolly texture. And when you bake it in the oven with some oil and herbs. Never heard of baking soda on potatoes. Definitely got to try that at home. It's good. <laughs> I love it. I was very happy. Yeah. Lots of butter. And we don't have like small sticks of butter in Iceland. It's like a <laughs> blocks of pounds. Yeah. yeah. Should be 70. We, we are crazy. We, cr we are crazy with wine, but it's uh, yes. yeah. But it's tw 20. 20. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my apron on because you know it's a family tradition to uh, drop something. Oh nice! <laughs> I might need one of those. A bib. It's terrible. Here's scouse. Okay. Scouse. Vegetables that were um, were baked with the lamb have the lamb drippings on them. Scout, scout, welcome, scout, welcome, welcome, cheers, and welcome. I don't even need a knife for the lamb. It's so tender. Leave the fat on, on the on the rim of the, mm -hmm. of the plate, but it gives the, the nice texture and flavor to the muscle mm -hmm. as it's cooking. Yeah. Yes. Oh. The butteriness of it with the little little tang of the red wine. It's still nice and thick mm -hmm. too. I'm very excited to try the baking soda potatoes as well. Quite crunchy. Yes, I knew, I knew even just scooping them out that there was a special crunch to them. And so that's from the baking soda. 
Mm. Let's see, Bobby, did you finish everything? I did. Well, there's a little bit of <laughs> that. Okay. We still have time. We will wait. <laughs> <laughs> the chef was like, <laughs> I, I still have wine. <laughs> Is he always this funny? Yeah. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Your, your Christmas presents they yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <I'm> bigger. <laughs> <laughs>a delicious cup of coffee, some final philosophical conversation, and an undeniably rich and shockingly creamy piece of skeered cheesecake leads us to the end of our lovely time with these beautiful people. Thank you for the thoughtfully prepared meal you served us and a cherished moment we will carry with us throughout our continued travels. Thank you so much. We are finishing our food tour through Iceland this evening. We are heading in for a date night together at this restaurant called Glow. And we won't be taking you in with us because it is date night. We need some time alone as our um, trip to Iceland wraps up. Thank you so much for joining us, exploring all these different foods here. And please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we really look forward to seeing you in our next video. Can't wait to see you there. Talk theater for being with us. <laughs> Bye. Bye.